Come through, folks. Suffered a tension hemothorax, decompressed on scene. Slightly elevated heart rate. BP is 105 over 80. Heard something in her heart, could be a murmur. Hey, uh, let's get her into trauma and put in a Heimlich valve, and then we'll do an extra party can, yeah? What's going on? It'll be okay, Tess. Out of way, sir. Griffin? What happened? Where's Brian? Are, are you with Who's she? Brian's okay. Uh, her, her name is Tess. She was hit by a cab. Dr. Connor? On my way. Sandy's been going sick. Brian's fine. He, he, he's not coming home tonight, but he's fine. Hey, Connor! This way, guys. What's going on? <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, 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 Dr. Diaz. Pero un residente en cirugía ya, pero ahora está en Canadá. ¿Podría hablar con tu supervisor? Por favor. Aló, aló, aló. Hey, Bruno, you okay? I tried all the hospitals in Bogotá. They don't have it. Don't have what? My mother's having emergency surgery tomorrow. She didn't even tell me she was sick. Hey, if they don't... Easy, easy. Take a breath. My mother's having surgery on her throat. She needs a trach tube. I don't have a trach tube. She's over 300 pounds. I don't have one long enough to perform the tracheostomy. One extra inch is all I need. Can't they just order it? Mama, money, no, no, she can't. Back home, I could help. I was a doctor. I could get anything. But here, I'm not, I don't know what I am. Useless. Extra long trach tube. They gotta have one here. It has to be there by tomorrow. Maybe you could, I hate to ask, but maybe your father can help. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll ask. I'll try. OK. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot believe you were here. Porter, I pushed beds. I'm glad you were there last night. You saved my life. I didn't really do anything. So, Tess, how are you feeling? Your breathing sounds better. Hey, how was last night? About as fun as you'd expect, considering I was the only sober guy at a bachelor party. It sounds awesome. You have no idea. So, Tess, why are you walking all alone in the middle of the night? I'm looking for olives. Cravings have been crazy lately. Ugh, Kevin, my husband, usually does the midnight food runs, but... Oh, He's in Singapore for work. They said I have a heart murmur. That's bad, right? They just want to rule out heart trouble. Where the hell is Brian? Excuse me. You had one job. One. Get him home. You know how he is when he drinks. Don't worry, he's okay. I'm just getting him hydrated. Hydrated? Must be a lot of pregnant women in the gift shop. Lifesaver. Thank you. Mrs. Carter? Excuse me. How are you doing? Better now. Actually, I'm, I'm going to ask you to not eat anything for a while. Your echocardiogram confirmed you have a cardiac myxoma. A what? It's a mass, a tumor in your heart. A, a tumor? I don't understand. Because of the accident? No, you've had it for quite some time. Actually, that car accident saved your life. We wouldn't have found the tumor otherwise, but we do have to remove it right away. What about my baby? My husband's on a plane. Can it wait? He won't land for another 18 hours. It can't. You need emergency surgery. Surgery? Mm-hmm. But so that's not... Here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get you a surgical and OB consult. They'll explain what your options are, and they can answer any questions you may have. OK? OK, but this isn't, um, this is not in my birth plan. It's, it's indexed. And laminated. And when I'm full term, I'm having a natural birth with my doula, Grace. That's the plan. Mrs. Carter, sometimes plans, they need to change. 